So I thought it would be interesting just to see what kind of damage I would be able to put out with the upcoming Shadow Crash change. So I have three clips. One is with Legacy of the Void and then one is with Shadow Crash before the change, and then one will be Shadow Crash after the change. This isn't really to establish a firm opinion on Shadow Crash just yet, because it can be really misleading since Shadow Crash will end up hitting two dummies. Also, Mind Flay will have the Mind Seer effect onto the second dummy, so the numbers are a little bit inflated but Shadow Crash is still really situationally dependent, so I think I would have to maybe try it out on a few bosses first and then compare it with Legacy of the Void before I really decide whether I like it or not. Another thing that Legacy of the Void is really important for is just taking more advantage of lingering insanity. So if you need more Shadow Power, Void Power, whatever it's called, to get back into Void form, um, you might have periods where you lose that haste and that could also, you know, affect your DPS. So I don't really like sacrificing that just to have Shadow Crash. So I think ultimately I might still favor Legacy of the Void, but there could definitely be times now where Shadow Crash might be relevant because of the speed change.
so I think after the change it does make sense that Shadow Crash will do more damage and also since it is hitting two targets even if I try to throw it more towards the right that way it wouldn't hit the left one it still seems to splash pretty large um, I could probably try harder to throw it even further to the right but I don't know if I want to really experiment too much but just wanted to see out of curiosity and it does seem like it gets pretty high um, so maybe on single target you could dumb down the numbers just a little bit but still seems like it is decently comparable to Legacy of the Void single target. Thank you. 